What is otolaryngology? I've been asking a lot what otolaryngology is. Um, many patients, including my own daughter, sometimes can't pronounce the word correctly, but it is otolaryngology. Our official name of our specialty is otolaryngology hyphen head and neck surgery. Um, it is the same thing as ear, nose, and throat, or ENT. And that's an easier way to say it. A lot of people just say, go see your ENT doctor. That is your otolaryngologist. Some people say otorhinolaryngologist. Um, Odo means ears, Latin phrase, rhino, nose, laryngology, throat, larynx. I don't know why we got rid of the rhino. I think it just got too long, so they put those five letters and skipped them, and it's otolaryngology hyphen head and neck surgery. Many people also don't know what we do. What is an otolaryngologist? And an otolaryngologist takes care of all sorts of medical and surgical issues, basically up in the head and neck area. And this includes almost everything with a few small exceptions. Um, the exceptions would be the brain, the eyes, the spine, and generally the teeth. Go see other specialists for those, but anything else otolaryngology deals with. And that can range from ear infections, ear tubes, tonsil problems, voice problems, throat cancer, facial trauma, sinus issues, cosmetic procedures, anything almost you can think of up in the head and neck, thyroid, parathyroid disorders. It covers a huge, a huge variety of disorders. Another interesting thing about otolaryngology, it is the oldest medical specialty in the United States. A lot of people didn't know that. And it started by a Dr. Hal Foster who called a meeting in Kansas City in 1896 of a bunch of, at that point, it was eye, ear, nose, and throat um, physicians together and started what would become the American Academy of Otolaryngology, but started in Kansas City, 1896, and has developed from just a, a handful of people to a national organization and, and is the oldest medical specialty in the country.